Hey everybody, Lon Seidman here with a review of the Dell Inspiron 1 all-in-one PC. Uh, when you think all-in-one PC, you probably think iMac, and this is kind of a similar uh, design, although it's not nearly as well built as a Mac would be, but it's also not nearly as expensive as a Mac would be either. Uh, it runs a Core i3 processor, which is not the fastest in the world, but it's certainly adequate for the task. It has a webcam up here as well. Uh, it comes with Windows 7 and some really generic Dell touchscreen software. This machine actually is a touchscreen. Um, but what I decided to do was install Windows 8. And the reason I decided to install Windows 8 is because I wanted to see if it was going to improve the user interface of the touchscreen on this desktop computer, and it really did. And I have to say that uh, my, my opinion about how good this machine is went up considerably after Windows 8 was installed. This is really... Uh, it makes it for a very compelling interface if you're uh, certainly a fan of tablet computers. Um, the new Windows 8 is not out yet. This is the beta that you can download and install uh, as part of a consumer preview program. Um, but I did install uh, Fruit Ninja, which you might remember from your tablet, or tablet device like uh, uh, the iPad or the Android devices out there. And as you can see here, we're on a 23-inch screen playing, uh, playing a tablet game, and it runs great. Um, certainly, it's not a hardware-intensive game, but nevertheless, it has that really smooth uh, Apple kind of feel to it, or perhaps Android feel if you're an Android person. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with you know a the games on it, just because they're they're fun to play, and uh, these are the touchscreen really works quite well. Um, it also has a, a Microsoft Office version that's coming out for it soon as well. By the way, all of these things will cost extra, so after you buy the computer, you'll have to buy Windows 8 and probably buy Office uh, in the touchscreen format as well. Um, but uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty slick. You hit the, the Windows key and you get back to where you were. Um, so it really changes how this machine operates for the better. And uh, Windows 8 is a very compelling experience on this device. Whether or not Windows 8 will be a success con commercially is up to the consumers, but uh, I have to say it dramatically improves uh, the user interface and, and the quality of the experience that uh, you'll get with this computer. So. Um, give it some thought if you're in the market for an inexpensive PC and uh, you're looking to upgrade to Windows 8. Uh, this might be a fun way to do it. It's, again, not the most powerful computer in the world, but if you're doing uh, Fruit Ninja and some word processing, it probably will fit the bill quite nicely for you. This is Lon Seibin, and thanks for watching.